is a great fun sport. The sport of dragon boat racing has been around for thousands of years. It started in China as the basis for an annual water ritual and the celebration of the Asian dragon water deity. It is also said that sacrifices by drowning may have been involved in the earliest races, with violent clashes such as throwing stones between crew members. If a team capsized, they would receive no assistance from the onlookers as their bad luck was considered to be the will of the deity. 2,000 years later, and dragon boating has spread all over the globe, with races being held in front of thousands of people. Of course, the sports has changed with the times. There are no more fights occurring during the races. Event companies such as Dragon Boat Events put on races for the public, raising money for charity and corporate companies. Today, we shall look into what makes events like these possible, talking to the company's employees, <laughs> and showing what Dragon Boat Events is all about. At the start of each event, what really helps is everybody working together. There's so much set up, from laptops, speakers, breakfast. I'm always so worried that we're not going to get it ready in time before everyone arrives. From the start, when we set up first thing in the morning, uh, introduce ourselves, obviously introduce the teams, let everybody know what's going to happen throughout the day and how many races they're going to have, what they're going to do, and how the format works. Uh, it's, it's great to know that everybody has an important job to do from writing up the names on the board and putting up the flags and everybody's part of the team and everybody works together fundamentally. I find the hardest thing is about setting up is finding the time to get food and drink. Uh, that's quite difficult. After the land-based equipment has been set up, the boats then need to be loaded onto the water. The boats are very long and heavy, so the crew sometimes need help unloading them from the trailers onto the water. We normally ask some to help us, it makes it so much easier. Three boat racing guys, in between the two killer boys. Right. For the final, it's a free for all. As soon as teams arrive, the event director gets us all captains together. Uh, he, he gives what he likes to call a quick briefing, although it's not very quick because he. Uh, Rambles on a bit. One representative, your team captain or whatever, from each of the two winning crews, and they're going to come up. And what we're going to do, we're going to give you the opportunity. We wouldn't normally do this, but to make it fair, we always draw for the lane and the help. Okay, so at the beginning of the day, uh, before any of the teams can go on the water, we take them through a safety briefing. Um, the first thing we do in the safety briefing is we actually go through safety with them, so we make sure that everybody can swim to a reasonable standard, um, teach them about the buoyancy aids, tell them how to put them on, why they're important. We also make sure, uh, or check, sorry, to see if anybody has any medical conditions we need to know about. If they do, we put a fluorescent jacket on them, and they sit at the back of the boat, um, just in front of the helm. That way, if the boat was to capsize, the helm can look after them, make sure they're okay. When he says attention, I want you to take the paddle. Reach forward by bending at the waist. Put the paddle in the water. That's the we teach them how to hold the paddle. Uh, that's most important, of course, because they need to know that. Uh, once we've taught them how to hold the paddle, we teach them how to basically paddle. Um, not Olympic style, but just to get the boat along the water and back again is the most important thing in dragon boat racing so go through time a bit with them and um, obviously there's not too much we can go through because time constraints are so you break and stuff you do go through more in the water attention reach forward then reach 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 go one two and one make sure that everybody is aware of what we call the buddy system. In the boat you sit in pairs and the person you're sitting next to is your buddy. The front two look after the drummer, the back pair look after the helm. So in the event of a capsize you stay with your buddy, to make sure they're okay. And then we, what we usually do is put a safety a wristband on them. It shows our safety officer that, the, uh, that they've had a, a safety briefing prior to getting